Edited by George Harrison himself and autographed by both Derek and George. It's not exactly a steal, <laughs> but to the series collector, the reproductions of tickets and letters and other memorabilia will be certainly worth their weight in gold. And Derek is with us this morning to talk about this, and he's actually bought a copy of the book, which is $375. Fantastic, Derek. You. you were in Sydney 20 years ago, yes. and it was pouring rain at that moment yes. in time, and you'd only been press officer for a couple of weeks. Yes. That must have been pretty nerve-wracking to bring a group like the Beatles across the country. It was. It was all you know, tension and stress and movement. Mm. And the weather was wild and violent <laughs> and inviting. So we, we ran out into it. Yeah, knew you were coming this time. Sure. I mean, this is difficult Derek, we've got some film here, actually. What are your thoughts when you look back at that 20 years ago? Where were you in amongst this mayhem? On the, on the truck. You were on the truck? Yes, at the back. What was the reaction of the, of, of the four lads? Oh, right? it was a sort of screaming excitement. It was, it, was, it was a good, it was a really good welcome. If it was going to rain, it might as well rain like this, so we might as well get out in it rather than cringe and yeah. hide away. What were your strongest memories of that 20-year-ago tour, travelling across the country? Well, the memories really was, there were balcony scenes, which we never did anywhere else. We, I think we did enjoy getting out there. It became quite a feature. Some of the photographs in the book, actually, that you took. Well, I took some of George well. took some of them. So you got a Beatles view of an enormous crowd. Yeah. I didn't realize how big the crowd was. One of the comments actually you made in the book about the Australian tour was the commercialism. You seemed to be surrounded Well, we'd by. come from uh, uh, sort of cunning, subtle commercialism in England. It wasn't out to front. brash, brazen Australian yes, commercialism. Yes, it was right out front. There was Dayglow signs on the side of the cars yeah. saying, George, George has his own car, and then Ringo and all four had their own little cars. Yeah. And the big limousine had the Beatles on the side, so there was no disguising it. We've got some uh, pieces, some very lovely pieces, actually, of a press conference in Australia we'd like to show you and get your comments. So do you ever go to the bar, John? No, you know, I've known there since the film, the film, the woman on the film could be good, but I don't trust anybody else. This is, this is the film Beatlemania, is it? No, no, no it's, it's not called that. It's another story.